Okay, you guys, so truly my sincerest hope is that we can get through this fairly fast. This box basket right here is for the ones that I'm going to be getting rid of. I have another one that's on my lap for the ones that I'm going to be keeping. And then I've got a huge basket over here. I am honestly, I'm hoping that I can be smart enough to, oh, please get rid of some of these. Okay, let's just get into it because I don't want this video to take a million years to go through. I know that I'm gonna get somebody saying, what do you do with your palettes? Basically, guys, what I do with my palettes is I donate them to um, a women's shelter or my local high school drama club, which obviously they're not doing right now, but I could probably get in touch with one of the teachers. First this off, I want you to look right over here. This is my collection of Juvia's Place and ColourPop in here. And I know that I'm not gonna be getting rid of very many, but I am gonna be getting rid of the Nudes by Juvia's Place because that one just didn't impress me that much. And I don't think I'm gonna be keeping the chocolates either because even though they're beautiful colors, it's not necessarily ones that I wear all the time. So I'm gonna keep the berries and the violet one, the violet one for obvious reasons, you guys. The berry one, you know what? I'm not gonna keep the berry one because this is just way too much berry for me. It's too dark for me. So I'm not gonna be keeping that one. I'm gonna be keeping the Maybelline one. This is the Nudes of New York. This is a one that Sigma sent me. Um, this is a cheek palette that Sigma sent me and I barely reached for it ever. So I actually think I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. Um, my new one from Violet Voss, I'm gonna keep. My Earth and Ocean one from Elf, I'm gonna keep. This is a blush palette from um, Juvia's Place. I'm keeping that. All of my Juvia's Place I'm keeping. The only two that aren't Juvia's Place is this one by Alter Ego. This is the Daydream palette, which is a dupe for the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty New Nudes. I'm gonna keep that one. Beautiful palette. Um, definitely a wonderful dupe palette. And then this one that's the So Jaded by Kathleen Lights, which is the ColourPop one. I'm gonna keep that one too. And then I've got these right here that are all ColourPop. So this one is Butter Me Up. And this one is Dream Street and Kathleen Lights. This one is You're a Cutie. If they have that one come back in, you guys, you really should grab it. It's so good. This one is the Bye Bye Birdie, which is beautiful. And this one is the, let's see, this one is the Flutter By, which is gorgeous as well. This is really cool tone. So I'm going to be keeping all of those. The Rendezvous I Palette Discontinued. This one is the, let's see, give it to me straight. This one is still around when they start production again. Gorgeous neutral palette right there. And this one is the X's and O's. Thought that one was gorgeous too. And then the Juvia's Place one. So I'm going to be keeping those. Oh, and then in here, this is the, actually the one I used today. This is the Give Me Butterflies one from ColourPop. So I'm going to be keeping those. Nude mood, I, I know that this is available. Really beautiful kind of warm neutrals in there. The Making Mauves, I know that they'll probably bring this back because they weren't able to have it for everybody. So that one to me is one that is absolutely beautiful. And oh, I, and then these are the other two. Blush Crush very pretty um kind of like the gimme butterflies actually and then the one that is in stock right now is this equinox one i hate those little plastic pieces flying all over okay this is the Equin equinox one so these are nine pan palettes and i really love it's them my pleasure is their all purple one these will be coming back when they start production again lilac you a lot so those two if you want purples you got them there this one is the blue moon and then this one is the Just My Luck, which is gorgeous greens. I have done a video with that one. Ooh la la, pinks. And then Going Coconuts, which is pretty much everybody's go-to palette this year. I had a really hard time with this one, you guys. I spent a lot of money on these two palettes myself. And I've decided to get rid of most of my Too Faced stuff because I'm really unhappy with them as a brand and what they did. Um, it's a whole big thing, you guys. But basically, you know, we have this whole thing going on about Black Lives Matter and how much that's touched our nation. Well, before all of this happened, the two um, big owners of that um, put a hashtag on their thing on one of their Instagram posts that said Rich Lives Matter. I think that that was so tacky and so uncalled for. And even though these are expensive, great formula, I can't support them as a brand anymore. So I'm actually getting rid of those. And I do have this that was a dupe made by C Color Cosmetics. Now I do like C Color Cosmetics 
and this was a fairly good to dupe i would say that it wasn't you know exactly you had to work a little bit more with these but i don't find myself reaching for that anyway so i am going to declutter that now these four ones from milani um do you guys want a tutorial out of all four of these like i could do a four palettes like I don't know, eight looks or something. The Soft and Sultry, this is a brand new one I bought when I found out that they weren't making these anymore. The Most Loved Matte, same thing. I bought all of these brand new and I'm using up my old ones, but this is Bold Obsessions. Um, and the Pure Passion is the only one that I've been thinking about that I might get rid of simply because it's got oranges and reds in there and I just don't look that great in oranges and reds. So this one is probably going to go, but if you guys want a tutorial on these, even the Pure Passions ones, before I actually donate it somewhere, let me know and I will do that for you guys. And then so. the Persona Identity 2 palette. You guys, I've had this for such a long time and I worked with this three times this week and I wasn't happy with any of the looks that I got out of it. So I'm going to declutter that. I got these right here during the Halloween release that they had and i don't reach for them so those are going but this is one that they have in their regular line so i can do tutorials with you guys cosmic collision and then i have the one that came out during the holidays that has like 35 of them in there so i have enough of those i'm going to keep those these little elf um four pans that are just fantastic even though I absolutely love these, um, and I'm going to keep the rose water and I'm going to keep the truffles for sure. I don't think I'm going to keep carnival candy. Um, I don't know why, just because the colors are way too warm. So I don't think I'm going to keep that one, but I think I'm going to keep cream and sugar. I haven't worked with it enough. Just recently got this naked reloaded palette. I'm, o I'm okay with it, but I'm not like over the moon happy with it. I could easily declutter this one, but I think it needs to wait until my next declutter. This Natasha Denona mini palette, um, even though I like it, I haven't worked with it very much. It just is, it's like one that I don't reach for. I need to work with that though. I do need to do that. Okay, Huda Beauty New Nudes, that's not going anywhere. I'm gonna keep that. This C Color Cosmetics Savannah palette, it's all mattes. And I'm telling you guys, if you want a really good just matte palette, this is it. So I'm gonna keep that one actually. That one was really good. This one though is a dupe for one of the Too Faced ones. The um, powders in here are not as good. And even though these all look exactly the same, they're really not. And I wasn't really happy with this. I love their eyeshadow palettes, but their face palette wasn't that great. From BH Cosmetics, this is a vanilla cream truffle blushes. Even though I like this when I first got it, it's a little bit too powdery and I won't, I don't reach for it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. The Becca and Chrissy Teigen, I love this, but these colors aren't me. Uh, the blush is way too bright. These are way too dark. I've been it's hanging on it thinking, hanging on to it thinking I'm going to use it and I just don't ever reach for it in like the four years I've had it. So it's time for it to go. This is the Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust palette from Tarte. And while the packaging sucks me in on this one, you guys, I need to get brutal with myself because I don't think I've reached for this one more than one time. And I'm thinking I'm going to declutter it. So yeah, that one is probably going to go. Sydney, Grace, Enduring Love, definitely not going anywhere. And then I have two, two Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. One is the Amethyst and the other one is the green one, the emerald one. And you guys, I like the ColourPop ones better. The formula is better on them and I just, I'm not that crazy about these. Even though they look pretty, this Amethyst one, it's not really purple. It's more along the lines of pink. So I'm actually, even though I'm sick to my stomach again, Okay, the Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm keeping that um, because I use it like crazy. And this is the dupe from Alter Ego, the Temptress one. So if you wanted the Sultry but could get your hands on it, the Temptress is a fabulous dupe. I recently got rid of one of these from the LA Girl 16 Pan palettes um, because it wasn't that great. Um, I will tell you that these have a tendency to break. Their mirror on them comes off of them. So, but the the eyeshadows inside are just so good. But that one is the Hot Heat, and that one is the Vacate Every Day. This one is the Fierce and Wild, and that one is, oh, Untamed. I'm keeping all of these because the formula is so good. And then this one is the Hot Heat one, and that one is Aloha Vibes. The Pro Mastery, which I said was a dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nudes. So pretty. And then the Fierce and Wild, this is Instinct. 
and I love every one of those. So those aren't going anywhere. This is my own made up palette of singles. And obviously I like purples. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of, rid of any of these, but I don't use them in tutorials because you can't really get them much anymore. You guys, so I'm not so. getting rid of those because I do use them, but I don't use them on camera. And then the Sigma Enchanted, I am still, jury is out. I'm going to start working with this one a lot, but it has a dog hair on it. <laughs> I have a dog that's shedding right now. Love the brush in there. Sigma does brushes like really good. Um, I'm just not 100% sold on this one. So I like it, but I haven't given enough of a chance. The Colored Rain um, Queen of Hearts. I love this palette. It's not one that I reach for every single time, but I love it. So it's going to stick around for a while. And then I pretty much decluttered the ones that I was going to declutter from um, Dominique Cosmetics. I have four left. Um, the rest of them I gave to my daughter. The Berries and Cream, if you guys haven't seen this one before, this is just, this is my favorite one of all of them that they have. Um, really does beautiful looks on that one. This is her Lemonade palette. So pretty. These colors for summer, oh my word, if you like colors, that one is beautiful. And by the way, I do have one from C Color Cosmetics that I am getting re ready to see if it's a dupe for that Lemonade one. I will put that probably in a video before too long for a really pretty summer color, summer vibe color. And we'll see if those are dupes so that you guys can save a few bit of your coins. This is from Dominique and this is the Latte palette. And this one has been well loved. Um, love those um, shimmer colors in there. Those metallic colors are so gorgeous. And then this one is the Rustic Glam, which I also love and I do use quite often. So just pretty colors, a little bit more on the warm side than what I'm going for lately. But because I spent so much money on them and because I love them, I'm not getting rid of them. From C Color Cosmetics, I got the 18 color eyeshadow palette, the Rosette Gold Nightfall palette. Mm -hmm. Now, if I've swatched this, I don't think I have. Wow. Okay. So this one I haven't swatched and I'm not going to just start swatching it right so this now. This is so going to go to somebody that can get a lot of love out of it. This is the Sahara one from Alter Ego. And um, again, this one is a beautiful palette, but for me, it just. It's, it's too warm. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of that one. I don't reach for it. Storybook Cosmetics. This came to me in a boxy charm. Going to get rid of that one. And I just haven't reached for it. This is the Dose of Colors Friendication Palette. D Desi and Katie Friendication. Barely have touched this. I've touched some of the metallics, but it's a palette that I don't really use. So it's going to go this time. I just am at the point where I'm like, okay, I'm not using these. They either have to go or I've got to use them and I know that I won't use them. This is the dark magic one. Um, oh gosh, I don't know what to do with these. I'm going to set these aside for a minute. Dark magic and bling blast boss. Okay. Those are going to go aside for just a second. The, um, this one is the fairy lights during the holiday from BH cosmetics. I loved this. I worked with it for a whole week and I just never put it down, but I haven't touched it since because I have so many and I can't get to them all. Um, so I actually think I'm going to declutter that one. Okay, here's where it gets a little bit harder for me. Okay, this one is the Glamour one from C Color Cosmetics that is a dupe for the modern renaissance. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm fixing to you guys. I'm going to definitely try and see if that will dupe. My Urban Decay Born to Run. I'm not getting rid of that one. My Carly Bible one. I am getting rid of that. ABH and Carly Bible. I am getting rid of that. My Alyssa Edwards and... ABH, you guys, this one's going too. I don't reach for these. My Jackie Ina is going nowhere. Love this one. Reach for it all the time. My Norvina is going nowhere. I reach for this one all the time. However, the Riviera one, that one is going because I don't reach for it very much. So I got rid of, oh, I got rid of three of those. Wow. These are the Profusion ones. I'm kind of looking at these and I'm kind of going, you know, I probably will get rid of the... Oh my gosh, I can't decide. You know what? These might stay for another round because I can't decide on which of those I want to get rid of. Now, I am getting rid of my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the original one, you guys. I have not reached for this in like two or three years. So I can't justify just keeping these things for such a long time and never using them. And then I have a big, huge one that is the Morphe one. And this is the such a gem palette. And I haven't reached for this one either. It was in my last declutter and I was like, should I, shouldn't I? And yes, I guess I should. So it's going. Okay, I'm getting quite a big pile over there. So I'm going to put that one back there for just now. These Morphe ones have not gotten utilized, but I don't know if I'm ready to say goodbye to all of them. So I think I'm for sure going to get rid of 
this was hot spot. So I think I'm for sure going to get rid of that one because that one just doesn't speak to me very much. So that's going to go back over here. And then this one is very warm with the very warm greens too. So this one's going to go as well. This one is boss mood. And then this one is the stunning vibes and it's the one that I will keep. So that's pinks and blues and more along my colors. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna transfer all these. Okay, I just did the camera just a little bit. So far, these are the ones I'm getting rid of. These are the ones I'm keeping, but I wanna go through this again, just to make sure that I wanna keep these. Naked Those Reloaded. I'm gonna get rid of this one, you guys, even though it's really new to me. I mean, I got it in the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty last time. Oh gosh, I just, I know I haven't reached for that. Only one time to do a dupe for the new nudes from Maybelline. And I like that one better. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that one. And then on these ones, you guys, I think I decided that I'm gonna get rid of the Sunkissed because it has all those glitter ones in there. And I'm gonna keep the Festival. So the Sunkissed one is going. I've held on to those for such a long time thinking I would use them. And I just, I'm ready to get rid of stuff and let it go to people that really could use it and really need it. So and might make their day happy. And then the Morphe and Jaclyn Hale ones. Um, I'm gonna keep Bling Boss, but I'm getting rid of Dark Magic. Um, so that one's gonna go. And then these ones right here, this Natasha Denona, I think that one's gonna go because I honestly just don't reach for it. And then these ones that are here as well, I think Cream and Sugar's gonna go. And these ones are gonna stay. There are some Juvia's Place that even though I love them, I am gonna get rid of. This is the Afrique palette by them, colors I don't use. The Festival palette, I love that white, but these are all colors I won't use again. And the Tribe palette, um, again, I, there's only one color in here. So I think it's time for me to go ahead and get rid of those. Okay, just assess the situation just a little bit more. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get rid of the Dream Street the Rendezvous and the Give It To Me Straight by ColourPop because it's just too many, it's too many palettes for me to have. So now I have 68 over here and I have 44 over here that I'm getting rid of. So about what, is that about a third that I'm getting rid of? I think that's actually pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this. Love you guys so very much. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay hydrated, stay safe, and I'll catch you all in my very next video. Bye guys.